Welcome back. A wish come true this Father's Day weekend for a 31-year-old woman who never knew her dad. CBS 58's Michelle Fiore joins us live from Mitchell International Airport tonight, where the two met for the very first time today. Michelle, this is pretty special. Hey, Joseph and Natalie, beautiful day for it. So beautiful. Jennifer Day tells us that she has waited for this day her entire life. Now, she tried Ancestry.com back in 2017 and had no luck. But finally, six years later, her match finally happened. Today is April 6, 2023. And my birth dad <laughs> reached out to me on Ancestry. I'm overwhelmed with joy. I never thought something like this would happen. Two months later, Day's dad, Paul Zervopoulos, is waiting in Concourse C, flowers in hand. He's learned a few things about the daughter he never knew he had, her favorite color, pink. She has uh, three online shop platforms, smart girl. While Day jumped on Ancestry in 2017, Zervopoulos is new to it. He turned to genetic testing after being diagnosed with a cyst in his brain and never expected a parent-child match. I didn't go to sleep that night, so um, a lot of thoughts, a lot of emotion. Uh, I felt violated at the same time I felt joy. I sent the, the woman a message saying, hey, how you doing? We showed up as a child-parent match. I have some questions for you. A couple hours later, I get a message back saying, oh my God, you're my dad. I've been looking you for you my whole life. Now it's Servopolis who's looking for his girl. They're on the tarmac waiting for gate assignment at this point. She's on an afternoon flight from Houston. Anticipation is high. How many people did they have on that plane? As passengers from the flight leave, the waiting is finally over. Coming out of the gate and then coming over here, it, it's just, my heart's still racing. Uh, she's definitely my daughter. The two stand side by side, looking forward to their first Father's Day together. I can't describe it. No words can describe how this means to me right now. Her personality is almost identical to mine, and it's just mind-blowing. I didn't have the opportunity to influence her at all her entire life, and here she is, 31 years old, and uh, her personality is very similar to mine. Since I was little, when I could comprehend, like, birthday wishes, every year for my birthday, I always wished to, like, find or meet my dad. I really do think Ancestry came through, and the process, it's a long process, so expect to wait if it's not there, but it you'll get answers eventually. Jennifer Day tells us that through the years, it was easy to feel hopeless at times that she would never meet her dad. She says, if that's you, don't give up hope. Reporting live at Mitchell, I'm Michelle Fiore, CBS 58 News. Wow. Wow. Wow, I mean, what that's a, all you can say. I'm not crying. No, yeah. <laughs> no kidding. What a Father's Day story that is. But those, wow. like, websites have made it so much easier to, to find people like that, and it's pretty amazing to see those reunions. Can you imagine? Not no, And then all of a sudden you pop up father-daughter match? Right. Wow. That's a pretty hard Father's Day to beat. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, <laughs> right? so true. That's so, amazing. Oh, Wonderful wow. weekend for them.